Laura Razor, and I'm excited to be sharing in ministry with you as the lead pastor at State Street United Methodist Church. Today is the day we're moving into the parsonage, so if we look a little out of sorts, any of you who have moved recently can surely identify. We're also wearing our masks so that you can recognize us. If we get the chance to meet face to face, this is likely how we'll look. This Sunday, July 5th, will be our first Sunday to share and worship together. 10 o'clock is the time. You'll be able to participate online, or if you feel comfortable, you can come in person. I know you want to offer your support and your welcome, but I want you to know that it is very okay to stay at home your health and the health of our community are important to me. In the days to come, we're going to be having lots of different ways to connect that don't require us to be in the same room. If you do feel comfortable coming in person, there are some things to know. We will all be wearing masks all the time. The only exception will be the worship leaders while we are speaking. But even with the masks, we're practicing social distancing. To think about what that means, my husband David is almost six feet tall. So think about keeping your favorite person his size between you and anyone who is not in your family group. So what does that mean for how we can greet each other? That means no shaking hands or hugging, but also no fist bumps or elbow bumps. But there are still ways. I like bowing to each other with praying hands or we can touch our hearts. Also, a note about music. Singing is known to be one of the ways that those virus droplets get loose, so we won't be singing together. But be assured, there will be music. I know you have excellent music leaders here, so we will enjoy soaking that up and singing in our hearts. Of course, if you are worshiping from home, you can sing as loud as you want. Maybe the hardest part if you do come in person is that you're not going to be sitting in your pew. What? To help us keep our safe distance, you're going to be guided in and seated. And you'll also be waiting for the ushers to show you when to go back to your cars so that you can continue to keep your distance. As we enter into ministry together, I want to thank you ahead of time for your patience and your flexibility. We are having to learn new ways of being together and new ways of being the church, and it's hard work. But nothing can stop the sharing of God's love. As Psalm 46, which is our scripture for Sunday, reminds us, God is our refuge and strength. Therefore, we will not fear though the earth should change. Let's prepare our hearts for worship. Come set your rule and reign In our hearts again Increase in us we pray Unveil why we're made Come set our hearts ablaze like wildfire in 